So, one of the biggest issues, I guess kind of big issue coming out of the premiere of Animaniacs 2020, is the fact that Tom Ruger, or Ruger, Tom Ruger, I think, um, was not informed that Animaniacs 2020 was happening. As a matter of fact, Maurice Lamarch uh, told him, I think in a text or an email or something, that this was happening and he's not happy. Now, I don't know what's going to come as a result of that. I don't know if Tom's going to maybe take legal action, but it's interesting to find out that the guy that came up with the original concept for Animaniacs back in the 90s, um, as well as Tiny Toons, along with the help of Steven Spielberg, um, was not called upon to take part in this. And it makes you wonder why that is. You know, I mean, he is the person behind the creation of these characters. He is behind the creation and concepts that we've seen that have been associated with the likes of Animaniacs and even Tiny Toons. But it makes you wonder why. Um, we can only speculate as to perhaps the reasoning. Uh, my reasoning is perhaps, you know, if they would have contacted Tom, that... Tom probably would have said, hey, you know, I like the idea. I'm cool with the idea, but, you know, we need to include everybody. In other words, Tom, I think, would have been more in favor of not just bringing back the Warners and Pinky in the Brain, but if you're going to do that, you need to bring back everybody associated with Animaniacs. We're talking Slapping Skippy, Buttons and Mindy, Minerva and Newt, Minerva and Wilford, if you will, Rita and Runt, the Good Feathers, the whole nine yards. And... I think that's why they decided to go on with the revival without him because they knew that if they would have gone on with him on board, you know, either as a consultant or an executive producer or whatever the role may have been, that he, again, probably would have vouched for all the characters to be involved. Because if they, because it's just an opinion, just mere speculation on my part, that I think they realized that if they would have brought him on board and presented him with the concept they were going to go with, or they did go with, um, that again, he would have shot it down and said, no, if you're going to do this, you have to go all the way. You have to bring these characters in. And I think that's why we got that cameo that we did, or at least that uh, moment that we did in one of the episodes. Um, basically, it's an acknowledgement that, yeah, the characters are still there, but they're, but they're basically on the outside looking in, just like Tom is right now, because this is a different take. It's like it's a familiar but different take on the character, on the show, and the segments and all that. Um, and again, I honestly believe that that's the reason they didn't call upon Tom Rugger or Ruger, Tom Ruger, if you will, Tom Rugger, uh, to come on board. I think that's the reason. I don't think it's because. They didn't want him on board or anything. I think it's mainly because somebody there, mostly probably some of the newer creative staff, I don't know, if maybe Steven Spielberg himself or, or whoever, you know, decided that, you know, perhaps, you know, having him on board would have probably caused more trouble than they needed. And that, again, he probably would have insisted, depending on the role he would have been given behind the scenes, that they include everybody. Now, like I said, I don't know what's going to come of this. I don't know if Tom's just going to let it go, let it be, or if he's going to take any, any kind of action. Because, I, I, could, I mean, honestly, I, I could see him taking some kind of action down the line, like probably taking some legal action, like, hey, I created this. You know, I have the proof that I came up with the idea. And um, basically, they did not get my consent. He could probably do that. But then again, he's going up against a big guy, big time, big wig, if you will, and Steven Spielberg, who can probably acknowledge that and agree to that, but also say, hey, you know, I'm the main person above him that helped come up with the concept as well. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, so yeah, I don't I don't know what um, what's going to happen. Again, Tommy just, you know, let it be, just move on with the rest of his life and be like, yeah, you know, that's the way things are. I can't do anything about it. Or he might take some legal action. Again, it sounded like he wasn't too thrilled about this when I think it was Maurice LaMarche that told him. So, 
it's going to be interesting to see what the next step is going to be when it comes to this situation. I mean, Animaniacs is going for two seasons currently right now on Hulu with the potential of more seasons to come potentially on Hulu, if not HBO Max, if not both. So it'll be really interesting to see what the next step would be. Because if Animaniacs, you know, gets a couple more seasons, and then let's say they jump from Hulu to HBO Max, maybe in the Cartoon Network, to join the, alongside Tiny Toons University, Tiny Toons University, um, it's going to be, um, like I said, it's going to be an interesting road that they go down um and that we go down with them to see what the next step will be to see where they what direction they will go in uh when it comes to that but as far as tom is concerned again he may or may not take action down the line and ensure that maybe he gets a cut maybe he gets some royalties maybe he gets some say in what happens and Perhaps, you know, something will come of it. We don't know. Maybe that's why we saw that brief appearance by the characters in that one episode. Maybe that's an acknowledgement to saying, hey, we're going to bring them in. So that way, you know, Tom will probably get off our back and we'll pay him some royalties and all that for the usage of these characters. Who knows? Um, but yeah, Tom Ruger, Rug, Tom Ruger or Tom Rugger, you know, however you pronounce his last name. Um, like I said, it's not too uh, thrilled that his um, show has been brought back the way it was, you know, without his consent, without him being involved. Um, so it's going to be, like I said, an interesting scenario of exactly where they go next in this whole situation. Because, you know, we may think nothing's going to come of it and Tom's just going to let it be. And he may, and he may let it be. But I get this feeling, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, that he might take some kind of action to where... Not only will he get involved with the show in some capacity and maybe get some royalties from it, but also he may, um, you know, may have a say in things that occur in the future. Like he'll make a suggestion or he'll make a declaration or whatever the situation is to ensure that Animaniacs is what Animaniacs is supposed to be. I mean, everybody has said it uh, up till now that the first season is basically you know, getting the foot back in the door for the fans and for the show itself and and to go from there and to see what, you know, and to basically get everybody into a comfortable uh, zone so that when the second season comes around, they will have a, a little bit more room, a little bit more leeway uh, to do whatever they want to do, uh, to do a little bit more, to expand more, to be a little bit more risque, if you will, to have a little bit more adult in your windows, meta humors and stuff like that, so... Um, but yeah, um, it's again, it's going to be an interesting road that they go down, especially with an, especially with the fact act, or especially with the, you know, possibility that Tom, that Tom himself can get involved in some shape or form. You know, it's a, it's a wait and see kind of deal. But again, if you don't think he might try to get involved or at least have some kind of say, um, I I have a feeling you might want to paint, you might want to keep a close eye on that if if you're a fan of the show, because there's a lot of fans that are not too thrilled that a lot of the characters associated with the show are cut out, and again, like I said, maybe that's why we saw the cameo that we did. Maybe that's an acknowledgement of them coming and uh, basically keep Tom off the back. But let me know what you guys think down below, though. Comment if you like, and uh, I am out.